So today what we're talking about <clears throat> is what we call routine activity theory. And this is just a really uh, simple and uh, usable theory on uh, why crime happens. So routine activity theory consists of three parts, such as in this triangle. Uh, important part is capable guardian and uh, critical part is a target. And then uh, what we have over on this side is uh, basically motivated offender. Okay? So what basically happens is this target right here, we can uh, put just about anything under here. Let's say it's a television set. Okay? So someone wants to break in somebody's house to steal their TV set. Or it could be a liquor store, okay? So there's a lot of things, you know, that it could be. How about a child, you know, like a child molesting case, okay? Or even kidnapping. So a number of different possible targets for a motivated offender. So as a motivated offender seeks to come over here and attack this target, the capable guardian comes down and basically scares away the motivated offender, protects the target. Now what is a capable guardian? It could be a homeowner, it could be a parent, or it could be the police, it could be even be lights, it could be alarms. So if the guy goes and, let's say, tries to break in the house and there's an alarm and he's trying to get at that television, the alarm goes off, it scares him away. So your capable guardian in that case has worked because the alarm scared away the motivated offender. Uh, if it's a homeowner, the homeowner's at home, the guy starts to break in, he hears somebody or a dog, could be a dog, uh, you know, a number of possibilities that would dissuade the motivated offender from coming in. Uh, we've noticed that with liquor stores, if they have more windows, if they have more lighting, uh, they're less likely to be robbed. So these are just some examples of how this routine activity theory can operate. And it's a very simple theory, but it is uh, kind of an easy explanation for why crime happens. A lot of your motivated offenders are opportunistic. So if they see something, uh, somebody sees somebody's uh, wallet laying somewhere, nobody's watching, uh, they could grab it, they could steal it. Uh, so these are just some examples. So feel free to email me if you have any questions. My email address, robdaywalt at me.com. And uh, I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have, and we'll carry this on uh, with some other additional types of lessons in the future. So thanks for paying attention today, and let me know if I can answer any further questions. Thanks.